Now, this time out of Newport, where this afternoon the tall ship Oliver Hazard Perry was towed back to Fort Adams after losing power last night and drifting into other boats in Newport Harbor. And tonight we're learning more about what went wrong. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us now live from Newport with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom. Well, Mike and Caroline, the Oliver Hazard Perry tall ship is actually gone now, but it was still sitting right here in Newport Harbor, just behind me here until the tugboats took it away just about an hour ago. The sailboat is made to look old, but it is in fact brand new. And while the weather last night was gusty and choppy, the folks from the Oliver Hazard Perry organization say it's meant to set sail in all types of weather. Dramatic eyewitness video captures the moments the Oliver Hazard Perry tall ship loses engine power and drifts into several surrounding boats in Newport Harbor. These images show the boat leaning against a smaller vessel, its hull dented and swim platform cracked. It all happened around 6.15 Sunday night. You hear a call for help on the water and, and everybody wants to help. Harbor Master Tim Mills says the boat was attempting to leave the seafood festival at Bowen's Wharf to return to Fort Adams when the ship lost engine power. Had a dock line got wrapped in the propeller after they left the dock. The wind and choppy water pushing the ship off course. Gusty, probably 25 knots of wind, a uh, little bit of a sea state in the harbor, uh, maybe one foot, two foot chop. So it was, wasn't pleasant in a small boat. Uh, and pretty breezy. So. The boat knocked into smaller vessels, but no one was hurt. Crews were finally able to bring it to a stop by casting out multiple lines and dropping their anchor. On Monday, it still stood where it came to rest. A tug arriving late Monday afternoon, hauling it away. Jessica Wurzbacher of the Oliver Hazard Perry nonprofit says the ship was not seriously damaged. It's just a, a, uh, a blip, uh, but we'll, just, we'll be back on track. So. And the Coast Guard will be conducting a full inspection and investigation into this incident. Now, meanwhile, today there were two cruise ships off the shore whose passengers could not disembark in Newport because that ship was stuck here in port. We'll tell you about the economic impacts of that coming up new at 6. For now, reporting live in Newport, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News. Moving to Newport now. Tonight, the tall ship Oliver Hazard Perry is back at Fort Adams following a mishap that left it aground in Newport Harbor last night. And at 6, we've learned the incident may have cost the city thousands of tourist dollars. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian explains. Well, the tall ship is gone now, but earlier today it proved to be a roadblock for tourists who wanted to visit by sea. A short journey turned into a harrowing night on Newport Harbor. The Oliver Hazard Perry tall ship losing engine power and drifting into several smaller vessels before it was stopped. It's a great vessel to have in Newport. Just a unfortunate uh, accident. A dock line in the propeller blamed for the incident. No one was hurt and damage to the four smaller boats appears to be minimal. Meanwhile, off the shore of Newport, cruise ship passengers' travel plans interrupted. Roughly 4,000 people unable to enter the port Monday with the Oliver Hazard Perry blocking their way. Evan Smith of tourism group Discover Newport says it's a significant economic loss. The average cruise passenger spends about $100 in port, and so with losing 4,000 passengers, we lost uh, about $400,000 today, which is unfortunate, uh, but these things happen. It's been a rough season for cruise ships in Newport, says Smith. Monday's ships, the fifth and sixth, that haven't been able to see their passengers disembark. The other ships impacted by this summer's bad weather. I feel bad for all the merchants in town because we're, we're having a streak of bad luck with the cruise ships, and so I hope that streak's going to come to an end soon and we'll get back to normal. And the Coast Guard will now conduct a full inspection and investigation into this incident involving the Oliver Hazard Perry. The ship's crew will also be conducting some sea trials to make sure that everything on board is ship shape. In Newport, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.